Okay, hi. This is the CDL School Bus Practice Test. Uh, I believe this is going to be uh, test number three, so let's uh, begin. Right, there we go. Um, this is for the railroad highway crossings. Uh, test number one, I mean, pardon me, test question number one. So question number one, which of the following might be used at an active railroad crossing? And the answer is gates. Let's see if I can increase the size of this video just to uh, of the questions on for the test. That's better. Um, again, for number one, which of the following might be used as an active railroad highway crossing? Gates. Which of the following might be used as an active? The 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 word to remember here is active. This is something that essentially prevents someone from crossing the, uh, the railroad tracks who's driving a vehicle. So you have to remember that this question is set up so. Um, um, It, it's at an active, but it seems to me that also uh, the other ones are avail are there. Uh, let me just take a look to the answer. Now here it says the answer is C. And here they have one is the answer is, is C. However, um, oop, went too far beginning let's go back to we're looking at test number three okay I know this kind of adds on the time but anyhow um so the answer was answered C for this test which of the following might be used at an active railroad highway crossing um well definitely if this is an active one gates but that doesn't mean that the other ones aren't going to be used. So to me, I think the answer could also be all of the above. But by the way, this question is answered, and these answers are provided. It looks like they have they want you to um, focus on the one that makes it active, which would be uh, the gates. Anyhow, we'll just go into the next question. If you sign underneath. If, oh, pardon me, if a sign underneath a cross buck sign, that's those signs that are crossed, indicates that there are two tracks, this means, it means that there are two sets of railroad tracks at that crossing. That's the correct answer. So two tracks means there are two sets of railroad tracks. Question number three. Road black on yellow warning signs are placed ahead of the railroad crossing. So, road black on yellow warning signs are placed ahead of the railroad crossing. The correct answer is ahead of the railroad crossing. Question number four. Many highway railroad crossings have both of the above, which which is flashing red lights and bells. So many highway railroad crossings have flashing red lights and bells. So the correct answer is both of the above. Number five, train whistle horns might not be audible, audible until the train is dangerously close and that is the correct answer so just remember train whistle horns might not be audible until the train is dangerously close question number six a full stop is required at highway railroad crossings when and the correct answer is all of the above so the conditions are the nature of the cargo makes the stop mandatory under state and federal regulations. There is a stop sign at the crossing 
and the gates are down specifically the gates are down here you're not going to go through the gates I hope all right so question number seven if you're driving a low slung unit that means a unit that's close to the ground I presume and get stuck on crossing railroad tracks you should okay and again if you're driving a low slung unit so that's a motor vehicle that you're driving that slow close to the ground and get stuck crossing railroad trucks you should and they're they're saying here all of the above so what is all of the above you should turn on your four-way emergency flashers remember your vehicle is on the track so definitely put on your track your flashers get out of the truck your unit and get away from the unit or the truck okay so yeah if you've got a train coming and your your truck is stuck stuck on the tracks you definitely want to get as far away from there as you can I mean you want to at least you want to be away far enough away from that vehicle so if a train does come along and hits that truck it doesn't um, hit you or anybody else you probably do need to be uh, trying to get somebody to uh, to contact somebody uh, if you don't already have a cell phone and, and uh, get help all right so let's go on to the next question uh, question number eight at a passive crossing look at the word passive at a passive crossing the decision to stop or proceed rests entirely in your hands and I might as might add as you're the driver so um, there's not there's no gates there uh, that's what it means by passive all right so question number nine from a stopped position it takes a typical tractor trailer unit at least 14 seconds to clear a railroad track okay 14 seconds and that's from a stopped position question number 10 which of the following assists you in recognizing a passive highway railroad crossing correct answer is all of the above and that would be yellow circular warning advanced warning signs so yellow circular advanced warning signs pavement markings and cross bucks cross bucks are a type of sign and the correct answer is all of the above and right, let's get to question number 11 question number 11 you should never race a train to a crossing because and this is the answer because it is extremely difficult to judge the speed of an approaching train number 12 what sign what signs mark a railroad highway crossing correct answer is a cross buck so a cross buck sign is the type of sign number 13 when crossing railroad tracks you should the correct answer is never shift so when crossing a railroad when crossing railroad tracks you should never shift never shift remember that never shift all right number 14 railroad highway grade crossings are a special kind of intersection where the roadway crosses train tracks okay say that again railroad highway grade crossings are a special kind of intersection where the roadway roadway crosses train tracks the correct answer is train tracks question number 15 on a two-lane road pavement markings warning of a railroad highway crossing consists of an X with the letters RR and a no passing marking okay number 16 when the railroad pardon me when the road crosses when the road crosses over more than one set of railroad tracks a sign below the cross buck indicates the number of tracks that's what the sign indicates it indicates the number of tracks 
Number 17. Have a traffic control device installed at the crossing to regulate traffic at the crossing. Okay, probably should be um, uh, has at the traffic or ha it has a traffic control device installed at the crossing to regulate traffic at the crossing. So that's a active crossing because there's something there that can um, physically regulate the traffic um, um, road traffic across the, cro the crossing, the railroad crossing. Alright, number 18. What color are advance warning signs for a highway railroad crossing? So, the correct answer is white on black. White on black is the correct answer. Number 19. Do not have any type of traffic control devices. So, there, what does not have? Well, passive crossings do not have any type of traffic control device or something that can physically prevent uh, another uh, vehicle from crossing. I mean, obviously they could run through that gate thing, but um, that would um, be breaking the law and probably get, getting them in a lot of hot water. So uh, something that does not have some any type of traffic control device is a passive um, crossing. So um, anyhow, let's go to the next question, number 20. At a passive highway highway railroad crossing, you should definitely reduce your speed. Reduce your speed. And this is at a passive highway railroad crossing. You should reduce your speed. All right, so that's it. Here are the answers right here, so you can go back and review. So thank you for watching, and. Have a nice day.